Hey everyone, it's my favorite video to film of the month, my favorites from the previous month, and I have them broken down for you by category, and today we're gonna start with my top five in beauty. And there's a reason why my lips are bare. So the first favorite is this lip, and technically body balm, from Paula's Choice. This was a recommendation by many of you when I was dealing with allergies, I was doing a lot of mouth breathing, my lips were so chapped, I've tried everything in my house. Ordered this off of Amazon because I wanted it next day, and within 15 minutes of applying this, my lips were perfection. So I keep this at home. I don't like dipping my finger into it when I'm out and about, but this stays on my nightstand. It's outstanding. Now, my favorite lip combo for, what month were we just in? February are these two products. And they come in a lot of complimentary shades. So it's a lip balm, it's a tinted lip balm. They're both by the brand Lawless. This one is called Cupid. It's a cool pink kind of a lilac undertone. It has a subtle plumping property, but not crazy tingly or anything like that. So that's the lip balm all by itself, very moisturizing, feels great on the lips. Pretty good tint for a lip balm, but then you top it with their Forget the Filler, and this does have a little more plumping, but nothing like, like the Too Faced lip injection. It gives the nicest shine and a little bit more opacity, and it's such a pretty lip combo for this time of year. There is a nude version that I've been loving as well, and I'll list those shades down in the description box. I think a lot of us have been experiencing unseasonably warm weather, and I was not ready to jump into the full-on fake tan, although I have. It might be hard to see in the morning light, but I'm significantly more tan than I normally am. But before I started back in with my favorite tanners, I decided to just fake it for try-ons that you saw in February. So this one from Loving Tan, it's their Bronze Shimmer Luminous Cream. I get the dark and I am a pasty white girl. If you're gonna commit to pretending to be tan, go with the dark shade. I find that the lighter shades look a little more orange on us pale people. So this is basically body makeup. I wouldn't put it on your face, but neck down and you let it set and it dries down and it's instant color. It's not going to turn you color. It's like you're painting your body. It's like putting foundation or something on your body. So it will wash off. It's pretty water resistant. I didn't see any major transfer onto my clothing, but then, you know, get in the shower, soap and water and away it goes. This is a life saver. I rediscovered my love for the L'Oreal True Match Hyaluronic Tinted Serum Foundation. I would say this is a light to medium. It's slightly buildable. I'm wearing it today. It is glowy. Although to be fair, I have a demo of me putting it on. I am applying it over some very shiny sunscreen. I'm testing out tinted SPF and that's a whole thing that I'm probably gonna put over on Instagram but I'll keep you updated here as well. So it's kind of hard to see in the B-roll footage, but I've been wearing it pretty much nonstop for the last couple of weeks. So any of my previous videos that you've seen in the last two, three weeks, this is pretty much what I'm wearing. It does dry down nicely, and if you powder it, it's not too shiny. So this is a beautiful one for spring, this time of year before it gets super, super hot. It's, and it has such a beautiful finish. And I'm currently wearing the shade one to 2.5, and I probably need to go up to the next shade really to match what's happening down here. I'm not quite ready to fully commit. So I'm just adding a little more bronzer. And then this last beauty favorite of mine is a very recent find, but it's so good that I need to share it with you. This is from Tarte. It's their Tartlet Fresh Picked Eyeshadow Palette. It's just six little shades. And if you're like me and you love just a light wash of shimmer across the lid and a couple of mid-tone browns that are matte to deepen the crease and things like that, this is the perfect everyday palette. I do have a discount code if you order directly through Tarte. It'll get you 15% off, and I'll put that down in the description box. It has an ivory shade for the brow bone. It has sort of a warm brown that you can put all over the lid and up into the crease, and then a darker warm brown for the outer corner. You can blend it out and make it really soft. You can keep it pretty pigmented if you want. So lots of versatility with this one. And I love how tiny it is, so it's really easy for travel too. I'm scooched over so I can share my top five clothing. We're gonna pop them up over there. The first one, if you know me, you know I love Spanx, specifically their Air Essentials line. And I have tried to find you inexpensive options. I'm just not finding the dupes that I'm looking for. I know it's expensive. I have a little discount code that'll get you 10% off and free shipping. I know that doesn't really move the needle, but if this line is in your budget or you're looking for an amazing gift, maybe for Mother's Day, the Air Essentials line is incredible. It's the softest, but also cool to the touch fabric. Anyway, they just released 
a v-neck little polo kind of colored pullover it comes in a bunch of shades i have it in i think it's oatmeal heather i wear it in a size small they run true to size if i could wear this every single day i would now they are releasing more pieces for warmer weather most of the pieces that i have are long sleeve or you know for fall winter and i'm sure i'll be sharing some of the new releases as i give them a go because i have never been disappointed by anything from the air essentials line a little more budget friendly option and something i've been wearing a lot is this tinsel utility jacket from nordstrom and it's on sale it comes in the olive green that i have and also navy if both great neutrals for spring. It's 100% tensile. It is so lightweight. It drapes beautifully. It has zipper and snaps. You can you know, wear it as open as more of a part of your outfit, but you can also zip it up and actually use it as a jacket. So I like that. Great pockets. And because it is 100% tensile, you can smush it up and throw it in your purse if the purse is big enough, like just a moderate sized tote. And you can fold it up, throw it in your bag, and it doesn't come out wrinkled. I have done that a few times as we're going in and out of hot and cold and hot and cold. It's fantastic. Next pick is this blouse, this eyelet blouse. I'm sure you're seeing this on every influencer's Instagram feed. It's such a beautiful statement piece. It's cotton, it's lined. It has buttons to about the mid chest bone, sternum. And then uh, the rest of the buttons are just decorative. So you can button this up all the way and have this cute little pleated collar. I prefer to leave it open. It comes in so many colors. This was actually my second choice. It comes in a beautiful Kelly green that would be great for St. Patrick's Day. But when I ordered it, the green was sold out. It looks like as of filming this, all the colors are back in stock. So if you're looking for a really cute top for St. Patrick's Day or just green for spring, highly recommend that one. It has these little puff sleeves. The body is lined, the sleeves are not, and it runs pretty much true to size. I'm wearing it in a size small. These next favorites, I'm sharing this because for some reason, I am getting a lot of questions now about my go-to bras and underwear. For some reason, people wanna know. And I'm happy to share, but I'm not modeling. So I'm gonna pop in a collage. And there are two bras I wear interchangeably, two bra styles and then two underwear styles that I wear interchangeably. So I just wanna walk you through them because sometimes I share them as clothing, sometimes I share them as accessories, but your undergarments are a key foundation to your outfit and I think this is important. Okay, so the first, they're all from Soma. The first is actually what I have on. It's their wireless bra. So it's a traditional bra style, gives a ton of support. It has a band that goes underneath the breasts and lifts everything up and the cups are molded and it has the adjustable straps but the whole thing is wireless, super comfortable, standard sizing. Okay, the other option, if I'm not wearing this one, it's their wireless bralette, which is, it pulls over the head, it's more of a soft design, so you could even sleep in it if you wanted to, and I usually just get like the nude color, but in the bralette version, I will go with all the colors. In fact, I have one that is this exact color that I wore the last time I wore this top because if you have holes that dip down on your arms and your bra is showing, it kind of looks like you're wearing like a camisole or a tank top underneath because of that fabric. So I like getting the bralette style in lots of colors that go with some of the tops that I wear in the spring and summer when they're more likely to show. Then as far as the underwear goes, also both from Soma, two specific set styles. They're both from the Vanishing Edge line. And I should say that the bras are both from the Endless line. So with the underwear, I hate the word panties. It just sounds very inappropriate. So the two pairs of underwear, one is a bikini style, seamless, doesn't show through any of the pants or any of the things that I wear or dresses. So I love that. That's what I wear the majority of the time. However, there's sort of more of a high rise brief style from that same line that I wear in lieu of shapewear. It still kind of smooths the front of my lower stomach. So if I'm wearing, say, a more clingy dress, instead of reaching for Spanx, I will reach for those high-waisted underwear. So there you go. Okay, that was a long explanation on the underwear. And then the last of my clothing favorites is this double cloth shirt from Walmart. Comes in a ton of colors and it's under $17. I decided to size up one because I want a little more room than I could wear it maybe as a swimsuit cover up or over more, I don't wanna say skinny jeans or leggings, but that kind of style pants but I can also tuck it in, it's not so oversized. And I love all the colors. It has basic white, basic black, and then some really pretty spring colors, and that's the option that I went for. Now let's talk about my favorites in accessories from February. I've been sharing this a ton. I'm sure you're sick of seeing these. These sunglasses, they are from Avara, and they are reasonably priced for sunglasses. 
I, they're called the drama queen. I don't think I'm a drama queen, but my sunglasses are. I love the oversized frames, cut, protects the whole eye area. They also come in a black frame as well. And I think with the matching black lenses and they also work well as a headband. Next are these earrings. I just love more delicate earrings that go with all the things. I tend to wear the same pair of earrings for a week or so and then I switch them out for something else. I don't sleep in them, I take them out. But I've been wearing these a bunch. These are from Kendra Scott. These are the Murphy. They're kind of a double small hoop, really delicate. They also come in silver. They just go with all the things and it's easy to wear and I've been wearing them a lot in February. Next, I have some explaining on this one as well. I have been reaching for belts again. February was the month I pulled out the belt and I've shared this before and I will share it again. I realize this is technically not a budget friendly buy. If you just think about the initial cost, it's almost $200. This is a reversible belt from Tory Burch and I specifically wanted this color combination with the warm British tan on one side and the more creamy ivory beige nude tone, so to speak, on the other, and I wanted the gold buckle. I have only been able to find this exact color combination at Tor or on Tory Burch. They carry this at Nordstrom with the tan and the black, and obviously Tory Burch Online carries all the shades, but I really wanted these two colors because these are the colors I reach for. I don't often reach for a black belt if ever. And why I think this is cost effective. Here's how you do it. I technically got four belts out of this. So if you want to think about it, it's $50 per belt, which is a reasonable cost. And what, here's how I did it. I measured where it would fit if I was wearing this with a pair of jeans. And that's the size I went for, which was a small. And then I took it to my shoe repair guy and he added more holes so I could wear it even smaller at my natural waist. And then I could wear it there to belt over dresses and big blouses and things like that. So I have technically two belts that I can wear on my waist and two belts that I could wear closer to my hips. So four belts in one. I am still on the hunt for you to find something more affordable in those specific color combinations. I've grabbed some things from Amazon. They were terrible. There is a belt that's close. This one, I hope it's still in stock, is from Chico's and it does have this color, but the other side is gold as the sun comes out. I'm reflecting the sun right back at it. And it's a lot more affordable than the Tory Miller option, but it doesn't have the exact two colors that I'm looking for. But if you like gold and whatever you wanna call this color, nude beige, there you go. I do have a more budget-friendly option for my next accessory favorite, if I can talk today. It's this Crescent crossbody bag. Kind of looks like an oversized belt bag, but it's not. I mean, I guess you could because the straps are adjustable. If you want to wear this directly around your waist, you could, but it's a good size. Most of those belt bags, I'm thinking of a, a Lululemon one, they're so tiny you could barely fit your phone in it. And then you're kind of like have to feel yourself up to get to the phone. This one is nice and big. You can access all the things. It does have an uh, inner slip, two inner slip pockets, zip at the top adjustable comes in I think as light sage green as well has a nice basket weave sort of texture all over it and it's about 20 bucks so you know it's faux leather it's great for more sporty activities because I can just wipe it down I don't have to treat this in a precious way and I've been reaching for this when I've been doing things like going out for a walk taking Rowdy somewhere, that kind of thing. And my last accessory favorite, I'm sure you're getting sick of me talking about these shoes, but I finally ordered them in pink. I love these driving shoes. I know many of you love them as well. I have them in white, now I have them in pink. I recommend sizing down a half size because they run a little wide and a little long. So normally I'm a size seven, got these in a six and a half. The next shade I'm contemplating is they have it in a metallic gold. So let me know if you pick these up, what color you got. Now let's talk about lifestyle and home favorites. So I've shared these before, but they really came in clutch in February. These are the Raycon Everyday Earbuds. And these are a favorite because these are the only headphones, earbuds I'm using now. Whoops, there we go, that I'm using now because I had my AirPods in a pocket and washed them and they did not survive the wash despite all efforts. And so I've been reaching for these and honestly, they fit better in my ears. They are not as touchy. Like I'm sure many of you have tried to adjust your AirPods and suddenly you've hung up on a call by accident. I just absolutely love these. And if you only wanna wear one, I recommend just the left one has the microphone. So they're great on phone calls as well. I've tested them a lot this month. Next, I'll pop in a picture is this swivel chair from Walmart. It goes in and out of stock, so don't give up. I've seen it restocked a few times since I initially bought it. I find myself wanting to sit in that 
over my sectional. Michael and I are kind of fighting over that chair and it's the perfect size for the space. There's a much larger one from Walmart that is beautiful. It's a boucle fabric. It's too big for my space and I'm worried that boucle fabric is gonna get shredded by my dogs. Versus this one, it feels like it's a linen blend. Clearly it is not, but it's so well made. You don't have to put it together. It comes straight out of the box. Just pop it down and it comes in two shades and I have it in the linen. My next lifestyle favorite is a new carry-on rolling suitcase new to me. And what's great about this is that it has a zipper pocket on the front of it. This is a hard shell suitcase. And that zipper pocket is great for throwing in things that you need quick access to, like your phone, a laptop, an iPad. I recommend flat items, a book, magazines, because if you have anything too bulky, it's gonna, it's not gonna lay flat when you try to zip it. It does make that side of the suitcase a little more shallow. So I don't recommend it if you're trying to only have one suitcase and throw all your stuff in there, then I recommend the more traditional kind that doesn't have the front flap. But if you are not trying to be a minimalist packer and keep it all to one bag, this thing is fantastic. And it comes in a bunch of colors too. Next is a candle. So there's a little bit of a story. It seems like that's the theme for this month's favorites. I love lemon scented candles, wax melts for spring and summer. It just makes the house feel clean. I love it. So I had seen that Bath and Body Works had this candle, it's their sugared lemon zest. And it says it's a bright lemon zest, Sorrento lemons and sugar cane. And it smells delightful. Clearly I've been burning it. But then I remembered Walmart. And I remembered that my favorite wax melts were a Walmart brand that they sold out of and I had to track it down from an independent seller on Amazon and I ordered a bunch of them. And as I was placing my Walmart Plus order, I decided to do a little search and see if they brought the wax melts back. They had not, but they brought back the candle and it is from their Mainstays brand. Isn't this pretty packaging? And it's their sweet sugared lemon. And here are the scents, lemon, lime, and sugar cane. Very similar, and dare I say, I kinda like this one a little better, and this one throws a stronger scent. And this one is under $6 for a three wick, and the Bath and Body Works is not. I just wanted to point out, huge favorite. I got a bunch of these, I put them, I burn one in the kitchen, I put these on my mug warmers in my bedroom, and at the front of the house, my house is smelling lovely like sugared lemons. And then the last of my favorites, it's very random, it has a specific purpose. It's the set of hand jacks. So you put this under something that you want to raise, and then you just crank it up. I mean, look how easy that is. I'm not a particularly strong person. What am I cranking up? It's not a car. If you have a large rug, say under your bed, and you wanna switch it out, or you it's washable, let's say, and you wanna pull it out, and you and your husband or partner, you know, whoever you're with, or maybe you live by yourself, have to struggle to figure out how to move all the furniture, to pull the rug out from under there, and then put it back, or, if you're like me and you have a washable rug under your sectional and every time you have to pull it out to wash it, you wonder if your marriage is gonna survive that event. Many of you have reached out to me and you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is a game changer. You stick it under the sectional, one set, is good, two sets of these would be ideal. You crank it up just enough to pull the rug out, you set it, you don't have to take apart the whole sectional, you do have to take apart a little bit, but not like before where you were worried that you were going to kill your husband because he was not listening to your specific instructions. You know what I'm talking about. This will save your marriage and save you a lot of time when you're trying to swap out rugs in your house. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So that's it for my monthly favorites. I am gonna do a video in a week or so. We'll go over your monthly favorites, basically the best sellers of the month. So I'm looking forward to that. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope that you had fun and I'll see you in the next one.